What can I possibly say that the average fan doesn't know about Eric Hosmer? I would imagine quite a lot. You no, were around him no, a lot more than they were. No. They know that he was a fantastic player, that he was a fantastic leader, that, um, you know, that he was a great teammate. He was great in the community. I mean, they know all that. There's nothing that I can tell them or surprise them uh, on what, what Haas accomplished or what Haas did in Kansas City. They know. He's all around. He's a great player. He's a great leader. He's a great uh, teammate. He plays the game hard. He plays the game right. He, uh, you know, is tremendous in, in the community. Uh, you know, he just kind of, like we said, I think last year, he kind of checks all the boxes, you know. Have you ever had conversation with Hosmer during the offseason at all? Or? No. No? No. They, uh, you know, I think uh, he was advised not to, uh, not to communicate. I texted him, uh, you know, a bunch of times. I never really heard back from him. Is that because your ability to persuade? I don't know. Um, I just, I don't know. I, I don't know. I just, uh, it was what it was. How, how does this work on, on your end? Were you kind of had this feeling? Did you know this was coming? Or was well, I mean, again, uh, I just control what I can control, and that was always a possibility. I mean, you always hope that that's not what's going to happen, um, you know, but in the back of your mind, you know that it's possible, and just move on. It's not something like a couple days ago you already knew this was probably I had no idea. I had no idea until, um, you know, really kind of the last 12, 16 hours, I started getting a feeling that it might go the other way. Um, but no, not up until then. You've kind of, you know, uh, it's part of the baseball, part of the business of baseball, but you refer to a group of these guys as your own kids. Uh, if I don't know if it gets, if there's any, I don't know, emotion or, for you no, or you no, there's not. It's not. It, you know, my, again, my, you look at players and, and, you know, what do you take pride in? Do you take pride in your defense? Do you take pride in your offense? Do you take pride in your base running? Do you take pride in being able to get to something? Well, what I take pride in is developing a group of young men and watching them become leaders, watching them become all stars, watching them become world champions. I love that. And, I, and that's where my satisfaction comes. And to see, uh, you know, Kane get the contract that he did and Haas get the contract that he got and, you know, hopefully Moose will, you know, and Vargy getting his contract. Um, you know, that, all that stuff, uh, you know, that's satisfying to me, even though it's not, it's not uh, you know, with us. You know, I feel like, um, you know, they left me a better, a better player and a better person than when they first got here. And that's what makes me go around a little bit.